welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a simple cut crease tutorial. It should be a quick video because I'm just showing you how to do like an eyeshadow look with a cut crease. And I'm going to do about three or four shades of an eyeshadow. Not sure what colors I'm going to use, but it's going to be a quick, simple thing that you can do on an everyday basis. Or if you want to glam it up, you can glam it up as well. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, so I will show you guys how to do it. Okay, so today I'm just going to be using the Soft Glam Palette. It's kind of dirty because it's like a felt. But we're just going to probably be doing some like orangey brown colors. Um, and then maybe do like a gold cut crease or maybe this pink one. But yeah, it should be really simple. Um, so let's get right into it. We jump right into it. I want to show you at Ulta, they have literally, this is pretty much all that you would need for a, like a simple eye look. And this pack was only like 12 bucks. They're nice brushes. I would highly recommend them. It's just a four piece eye brush collection. Um, again, $12, pretty cheap. And they're pretty lightweight and fluffy and they work really well. So I will be using these today. Um, again, highly recommend you try them out yourself. I love Morphe brushes. They are my favorite brushes. Um, then again, I haven't really used any other like higher end brushes, so these are definitely cheap but really good quality. Um, now we can jump right into the look. I'm gonna prime our eyes. I always prime with the heart shape tape, or I also have this e.l.f. like white primer that I use, um, but we're gonna be using this today. You need to use your fingers, or you can get a brush or a beauty blender. I usually just use my fingers. Helps it to blend in then a little better. Okay, <clears throat> so first things first is, sorry, that's gonna be noisy me taking these brushes out. Let me take them away real quick. Okay, first things first, we are gonna take a, I think I'm gonna take this rustic look, or, no, let's take this sienna color like this one and I'm just gonna pat that into my crease and then we're gonna blend it out I'll just pat that in usually with colors that are harder to blend which this one should be pretty easy to blend out but like with like purples and blacks what you're gonna want to do is definitely pat it into the crease um, and then blend it because it can get blotchy if you just start blending so that's a little trick that you can use as well. And I'm just gonna do little windshield wiper movements. Like so. I haven't done a makeup tutorial, I feel like, on my channel in a little bit. The one with Jeremy doing the voiceover, I feel like doesn't really count, but. So you're gonna do that. And then I'm going to take this bigger fluffy brush I'm gonna take burnt orange, which is this color right here. I'm just gonna blend out the edges. So you're just gonna take a little bit, not too much. Make sure to pat off the brush. And then you're just gonna, again, blend out the edges. And I'm just gonna do one eye and then I'll show you the completed look after. I just feel like it's more simple to stick with doing one eye at a time when I'm trying to do a tutorial, so. But, Again, just blend, blend, blend. That's the most important thing about doing like eyeshadows is blending. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the burnt orange and just blend it out again. I'm really tired today. I feel like you got enough sleep, but like, man. Okay, so that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. If you have any harsh edges, I did um, do a little trick on my TikTok where I take translucent powder and you can actually blend out the edges with that. And since it doesn't have color, it doesn't mess up the eyeshadow at all, but it definitely helps to blend out like harsher lines. Um, but with this one, it's not too bad. I'll just do it up close. It's not too bad. It's pretty um, blended out. So there's that. We're going to take one more darker color. Um, 
So for the, since we did the Sienna, I'm gonna take those, um, should I take the Rustic or should I take the Cypress? I'm gonna take this Rustic color. Nah. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Rustic color. No, 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 no. Okay, we're gonna take the dark brown color and we're just gonna put it in the um, outer corner and blend that out. Just to add some dimension there. Yep, that looks, that looks good. That was a good choice. And you don't want to go too far in because, again, you're going to do a cut crease. In my crease, when I do it, I'll show you the trick that I do, but when I do it, I feel like I'm going to need more darker up here. So I'm going to go back in with that sienna and just put it more up above my crease. That should be fine. And then I'm going to blend it out again with that for orange. I feel like, I don't feel like my lids are like small, but I definitely need to go up to my brow, I feel like, for the most part. And then you can like take this big brush and like blend the outer corner kind of into the crease. Um, and then out, just so that it's blended out like that. Okay, now we will do the cut crease. It's really simple, trust me. So all you're gonna do, is take whatever primer you have or concealer. Concealer is probably the easiest. I just put a dot like this and then you're just gonna wanna look normal like that. And then that's where your cut crease will be. So now you're gonna take this flat brush that also came in the pack. This is literally the only brushes you need for this look. And you're just going to, you might need more concealer because I don't put a lot on at first. Um, usually I clean it up with a makeup remover, but I mean, you don't have to. I'm just doing it as simple as possible. Again, you might need to take some more concealer. And again, you can look normal, make sure it gets on the crease. And when you're doing it, make sure you don't swipe it. You want to make sure you do like downward like motions um or make sure you're like patting it not swiping it because if you pat it it makes it a lot easier for you to get a straight line whereas if you smear it you can definitely mess it up but that's only for like the top to get the crease area does that make sense so i'm just gonna take it you can take this as far as you want but i'm gonna just do maybe to like there I don't want to take too much of the brown off. And that's what it's going to look like. And now this side doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to blend it anyway. Um, so that's what it's looking at, like. And now I'm going to take... Oh, my ear itches. I would take this... No, we're gonna just take our finger. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna take this like, this rose pink shimmer. And I'm just gonna put that on the inner part right here. Like that. Just put it on the inner. Bring it as far as like right here, because you want to leave a little bit because I'm going to go in with a different shade of shimmer. I'm going to go in with the darker shade, which is the sultry. And I'm just going to put that one right here, just to make sure it looks like a little ombre blended thing, you know? So there's that. I need to wipe my finger. I don't have paper towels because I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. Okay, then I'm gonna just take that big brush again and I'm just gonna blend this out. You're gonna wanna blend it like so. I just wanted to blend the brown in a little bit more with the other one. 
I'm gonna take some more of this darker shimmer and just add that to this and make sure you blend the middle. All right, so there's that. And then whatever you do at the top um, is what you're gonna do at the bottom. So I'm going to take this brush that we started with kind of clean it off I don't have anything so I'm just gonna wipe it on my hand but I'm gonna take the sienna you probably want to take like a flatter brush I take this concealer brush but I already used it for concealer um, and you're gonna just put it on the under eye like so You guys can probably hear my dog licking. It's annoying. Okay, so then I'm also gonna take this burnt orange and just blend it out more. Okay, sorry, I had to yell at my dog. Okay. There is that. And then I'm going to take this concealer brush and I'm just gonna pack in this shade called Fairy. Right here in the inner corner. Like that. Kind of like a gold shade. Just kind of like brightens it up a little bit. And the Fairy is this one right here. I'll show you. Okay. I'm gonna go um, finish my face, put some lashes on, some eyeliner on, and I will be right back. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Um, my eye's kinda red because I got eyeshadow in it and now it's like irritated, like look. Oh my goodness. But this is the final look. My lashes might not be on all the way because I kinda messed up, but I really liked it. I think it's super cute. Um, yeah. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment those down below. Um, I hope that was really easy and I hope that it was really easy to learn and I hope it's really easy for you guys to do because it definitely is a simple trick on how to do a cut crease. So if you like this kind of content, um, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below and uh, please join the family because it definitely brings me joy. Um, being able to meet new people and just help you guys with makeup and um, I also do vlogs and fashion videos so I definitely just like to be a part of you guys' lives so um, if you guys again want to be a part of this family don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!